take a look at how to play the Beatles song, you can't do that. This is for Paul who lives in Lincoln, USA, who takes Skype lessons with me. Uh, he asked for this one, so I thought I'd do a video for YouTube for it. Kill two birds with one stone. Now, I've got this down to one cheat sheet, so check that out on the blog. I'll put a link in the description. That opening riff is played on a 12 string. Um, and it's based on this idea of holding the G chord down and playing off the chord. So if you've got the guitar tab book for the Hard Days Night album, uh, it looks a little bit more complicated than the way I've written it out because it's taken into consideration you're kind of playing off the chord. But if you play it like this and then you can get clever if you so wish. So you have this, you know, taking this finger off for the... if you can hear that throughout the rest of the song obviously two guitars playing this after that riff we have this f sharp 7 which we're playing like that and we want to slide in it with j7 so our introduction should sound like this so that's our intro the verse is really G7, C7 and a D7 chord progression and I'll play that through. G7 and we have this kind of four bars of that C7 back to G7 to D7 which we're playing like that which is like a C7 on chord taking up uh, two frets on that D and B chord and move over to the C7 back to G7 so take notes of what's written out there and the balls that you're playing over we're then going to go through that again for the, the second verse we then have a bridge which goes We have this B7, 1, 2, 3, 4, E minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, E minor to B minor, back to G7, B7 again, E minor, a full bar of E minor, B minor, then into the verse. So again, that's pretty straightforward, and you'll hear that in the song. So all we now need to know really is the guitar solo, which is played by uh, John Lennon. Uh, it's quite rough, and uh, kind of just got to kind of go for it. And it's it's a little bit difficult to hear exactly what's going on on the record. You have to listen quite carefully. But this is what we've got. <laughs> guitar solo bear in mind i just worked this out about an hour ago uh, but really that little is based on g so you could play it like so you going from the fourth to the fifth on that g string which you can see in the guitar tab stop on the, the G and the B on the fifth back to that fourth and third I'm going to do the same again now we're going to go from the 
fifth the G bend and that up one to the third is B and high E. Double stop again on the fifth fret to the G and B. Now on the D and G fifth back to the third back to the, up the fifth open. I'll play that through again. Seventh of G, sixth of B, seventh of high E, and it's got this A. Like that. So. Then we slide from the seventh into the fifth. Like that. And then bend the fifth. And release third. So we've got that. Then we're going to bend the fifth and play the third of B. So we've got that open G there. So all the way through, we should have this. I'm just relying on the fact that the guitar tab is on the screen as opposed to being a bingo caller and shouting out all the names. So we have. So. explains how to play the Beatles you can't do that and as always thank you for watching